rage over the town hall section. Or just freeze, that works too, probably. Oh gosh, no it doesn't, no it doesn't. Tin balloons does not work when there's a tornado trap. Oh, this is why you need to bring the Yeti bomb. He just swagged his blimp. And two freezes. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next matchup in the CUC tournament. Today, we got two epic teams, Repotted Gaming, who have been to the World Championship for like the last three years in a row, something like that, and they got second place just last year, and VM Legacy, and if you don't know who VM Legacy are, I'll show you the lineup right after this attack, because this attack is going fast. Ninja's in with a Root Rider smash, a healing tome on the Grand Warden, and there's like no time to blink or you'll miss everything. So that was a healing spell for later. Sure. King, some Root Riders on the left side of the base. That was a Royal Champion with the Spear of Fox to deploy. Free spell and another free spell in the scatter shots. Royal Champion with the Fox up there. Getting through all the Lava Pups. One more free spell. He still has a ton of freezes. Jeez. Healing spells in. Dude, this is so crushed. Oh my gosh. Not even funny how crushed this is. Giant Gauntlet with the Gauntlet Glitch. Late. King not even taking damage. Skeleton spell to distract. The monolith, this is absolutely destroyed. Holy heck, Ninja with the fast three star to start this uh, this match off. And oh my gosh, this guy has all max equipment. I hope he used code Lexnos, teehee. Hopefully he did. Hopefully he did, but that's like a 90 second three star right there. Absolutely smashed in a half. And let me show you the lineup. For those of you guys on YouTube that don't know these guys, I mean, look at the names and you'll probably know them all. Ninja, Arium. Luxy, Synthi, and Darkstar. All of these guys. Absolute clan clashers. They've all been to the World Championship. Except for Ninja, I think. Simon is in for Reputed Gaming. The Vice World Champions of 2023. Let's see what they got here today. We can charge Super Barbs. With one Root Rider. Zap spells on the bottom side of the base. He got a Poison Tower. And an Inferno Tower. And some Builder Huts, I guess. Sure. We got a Recall spell as well. This only gives us space for one Rage spell in the entire attack. Rage Gym. Okay. Queen got everything so the Flinger can go get... Oh, the Flinger's going to get juicy value now. I like that. Redeploy the Queen. Warden with a Frosty with a Rage Gym. Sure. Sure. Fight the Kings and one Headhunter, that'll be GG. Headhunter also gets the 50% Rage bonus from the Rage Gym. That's so nice. So nice. Which way is Queen gonna walk? She's gonna go to the right. Doesn't really matter because the base is symmetric. Flame Flinger still flinging. Warden. Helping that Queen. We lose one healer to a Seeking Air Mind. Baby Dragon on the other side for the Wizard Tower. Oh, that Baby Dragon might even get the Expo too. Look at that. Would have been nice if the Gold Mine went down, but it doesn't matter, dude. That Baby Dragon's pathing. Perfectly. We lose another healer to a Seeking Air Mine. King deployed on the right side of the base. Rage upon the Queen. Monolith locks on. Freeze. Or Invis. That works. But now the Baby Dragon stays alive and gets the Expo. Wow, did that Baby Dragon poggers value. Poison spell? Yes, sir. Off the Warden ability there. Okay. Okay. King with some super barbs, he's chilling. Now we're gonna freeze the monolith. Are the healers just healing the warden and not the queen, or am I blind? I think they were. Now they're switching back to the queen. Healer's trying to throw. Queen will get the monolith and she'll stay alive. We got one more freeze. We got a royal champion still to deploy. Where's she already in? Am I? Yeah, she's over there with the super barbs. Queen finds the tornado trap. She's spinning in circles. Flame Flinger still flinging. King trying to get everything on the top side of the base as well. Spirit Fox going invisible. Super Barb's helping out. We got that one free. Still holding on to it. Still holding on to it. What a plan from Simon, bro. That was cool. That was cool. Not just a basic Queen Charge Super Barb attack, but it was a kind of a fancy plan. And it works perfectly. Super Minions and the Flame Flinger did not even need them. Plenty of time left over. It's a three star. We are all tied up. Three to three. Dark Star is in with some Zap Lalo. With a Yeti, with an Ice Golem. It's a scatter shot, an Expo, a Rage Tower. All right, all right, all right. Queen. Super Barbs. Classic equipment all around. Wait. No, this is not the Leo 
from Clash Champs. This is not the Brazilian Leo, this is the German Leo. There's two Leos. King versus King. Headhunter is in. A couple more super barbs to help out. Another skilly trap, sure. That warden statue locking onto the queen was kind of unfortunate. I think it might lock onto her again. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Did she get out of range there? Did she get out of range? She did. Oh, the good news. Good news. Queen ability stays intact. Unicorn trying to heal her. Log launcher launching through the base. Yeti and one balloon up top. Interesting. King popping ability gauntlet. About to carry him through the core here. Log launcher still getting through some walls. He had to pop queen ability because the multi archer towers actually hit her as well. That's nuts. The queen's going to go down. Unicorn dies. Balloons getting out in front. Does the queen stay up there? No. Rip. We get the multi archer tower, but he's not going to get the monolith like he probably wanted. I don't know if he actually wanted it or not, but he's not going to get it. Lalo into the top side of the base. Royal champion on the left side of the base. Sure. Breeze early as heck. Warden ability across the town hall section. There's the tornado trap on the left. Royal champion being a little slow. I think she had to deal with some skelly traps. Yeti's from the. Log launcher chilling on the left side of the base. Tornado trap spinning him in circles. He's losing most of the balloons. Gonna haste through the right side inferno. Freeze it up as well. He's out of spells now. Has one more balloon to deploy, and that's it. But the royal champion. Is she about to clutch up? Clear the core? She is. She is. This is gonna work. This is gonna work. Pop the RC ability. Down goal the defenses, and that plan works. It's a three star for Dark Star VM Legacy with another triple, and they are two. For two, keeping the pressure high on RPG. Philip is in with some zaps, with some quakes. What did he get? The world may never know. A rage tower for sure. I think, uh, I don't know actually. Scat, no? What the heck did he zap? Multi archer tower, I think. Wrong. Couple balloons, bat spell, e drag, doing their thing. Sure. Sure. Baby drag, giant wizard, bunch of wonky funneling happening. Super dragon spam from the left side of the base. Still got a battle blunt to deploy. Classic equipments. <laughs> Super dragons take out the RC. Battle blimp, here we go. Off the warden ability. Cool, cool, cool. Rage over the town hall section. Or just freeze. That works too, probably. Oh gosh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Tin balloons does not work when there's a tornado trap. Oh, this is why you need to bring the Yeti bomb. He just swagged his blimp. And two freezes. Uh, I'm never a fan of the tin balloons and the blimp for the town hall. With a tornado trap there, it's just completely swagged. Luckily, one super dragon, Poggers Pathing, able to take it out. Jeez, you got lucky there. King ability on the outside. Queen not going to go in for the scatter shot. We send the champion. Queen will go back in. He's still going to triple, dude. He's still going to triple because Clash is LOL right now. Oh my. Oh my. RC pops her ability, takes out all the defenses. Headhunters on the back end for the enemy king. King on offense has the Phoenix ability. It's clashed. 98%. 99 and 100 gg the game is fun cynthia is in is he bringing us a thumbnail today let's see early battle blimp super minion bomb rage a spell loney boy invisibility get that king get the town hall get some ricochet cannons One more wonky invis. Sure. A couple of headhunters coming out of the CC with some archers. Nice. Ice Golem King on the left side of the base. What equipments we got? What in the level 18 giant arrow? <laughs> Alright, dude. This guy has been watching Carbon Fin. For real, for real. Sir? Rage Gym? This guy maxed out his giant arrow, bro. It's like 200 bucks down the drain. He's never getting back. I hope he used code Lexnos. 
Pops the ward ability. Still has the gauntlet glitch to use. I'm trying to keep an eye on this queen, bro. I gotta see what the level 18 max giant arrow does. I'm sorry, but I'm staying zoomed out. I'm eyeballing this queen. Royal champion to the core with the spirit fox. Queen's still at full health. He's not popping that ability. Free spell upon the monolith. Couple super barbs on the bottom side. Watching that queen. Watching that queen. Watching that queen. LOL. Skeleton spell. Invisibility spell. Queen. 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 Giant arrow. No. 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 Whee! What did that do? I don't know, but it looked cool. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think he got like two trash buildings because of it. Let's go. It's a three star anyways. I don't even know what happened on the rest of the attack. I was staring at the giant arrow. <laughs> but it's a triple for Synthi. That might be the thumbnail just for fun. GG's. Einstein is in with some Lalo. Six lightning spells and an earthquake. Cool. King on the top side of the base. Classic, 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 classic. Normal, zap, lalo, zap away, that inferno tower, that multi-archer tower, and uh, I think it was a sweeper. Queen, going toward the town hall, king in the top side to go fight the queen, sweep, sweep. Skeleton spell. Headhunter. Wallbreaker to get the king all the way to the scatter shot. Sweet. Queen will get the town hall. Baby dragon on the right gets a wizard tower. Can you still get the scatter shot? I think so. Maybe. Poison Tower slows him down. CC Troops stopping him. Uh oh, he might not get the scatter. He doesn't get the scatter. That's awkward. Lalo on the right. Here we go with the Royal Champion with the Spirit of Fox. Popping that War Dawn ability right away. Gotta go straight into another Poison Tower. No healing spell to help out. This could actually get awkward. Einstein with the big brain. Lalloing into poison, into multis. I'm a little worried. I think his balls are bigger than his brain right now. Stone Slam on the back side of the base. We gotta go through a monolith, two ricochet cannons. It's still gonna work somehow. Royal Champion going invisible because of the Spirit Fox. More freezy spells on the back side of the base. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. The big brain pays off. How about that? Free spell for the monolith and the warden statue. How did that not hit the eagle? I don't know. Dragon Rider out of the Stone Slammer. Go back and get the Teslas that we skipped. Plenty of time left over. That's a fast Lalo attack, too. Fast, fast, fast. RC spinning in circles, tornado trap. RC goes down, doesn't matter. We got a Lava Hound that's not even gonna pop. GG, 97, 98, 99, and 100%. It's a three star for RPG and we're all tied up yet again. Nine and nine. VM Legacy with a Warden Blimp and a lot of spells. What is going on here? Invis, Super Archers. Ooh. Clone spell. Ooh. Did he have the Rage Gem? He did. Gutting the core of the base. Can he get one more Inferno? And the Rage Tower, maybe? Am I being too greedy here? Yeah, there's a Town Hall, but it'll get repaired. Gets the Expo as well. Ooh. Wow, look at that value. Holy heck. Holy heck. Queen. King. Root Riders, here we go. E-Titan as well. Spam city. Bro, is the ward going to stay alive and help them out? Now I almost wish he had a Coco Balloon to drop right now in front of the ward. Well, the Owl gets to be like a Coco Owl. This warden's going to get bonus value. I like it. The Rage Gym actually allows the Queen and everybody else to do 50% extra damage with each shot right now. It's Poggers. Here we go, just smash along the left side of the base. Root Rider's opening up all the walls. Ward just took a seeking air mine to the face, but he just ate it like a champ and is still going on with one HP. We got King ability, got Queen ability, still got a Royal Champion to deploy. Top side of the base is kind of toxic, but we're looking good. There's a King ability. Queen has her ability. Send a Headhunter to help fight the Barbarian King. Royal Champion on the right side of the base with a Super Barb Spirit Fox to go invisible. Hello Tornado Trap. Is that an Ice Golem Freeze? Nice timing. Town Hall drops. Lots of Super Barbs. Archers behind. This is absolutely destroyed. Area with the Clan Clashing attack. VM Legacy going to be four for four. Jeez, these guys are actually pretty insane. Leo is in for Repotted Gaming. He's got Queen Charge. He's got Root Riders. 
He's got a triple right now if he wants to keep his team in this match because nobody is failing. Early Yeti Bomb, Rage Spill, down goes the Monolith. Healers on the Queen. Queen with a Frosty, what the? This Queen straight up went to Wendy's and got a Frosty. That joke is only going to be funny for Americans. I'm sorry if you're not American. Coco Balloon pulling some traps. Ooh, pulls a Tornado Trap as well. That's nice. It's the Expo. She's chilling. Going to go inside perfectly. And holy spam city, we're starting early. Here we go. Root Riders on the right side of the base. Royal Champion King on the outside. Rage Spell to get the Town Hall down. Wait. Poison Spell. Rocket Balloons. Ice Golems on defense. Thank you. Crickets are OP. Healers are getting hit, but uh, they might be okay. Ooh. Healing Tome. Pop the Warden ability. Healers getting bamboozled as Queen gets stuck on a Skeleton Trap. King already dead on the top side of the base. Healers alive on one HP. One red bomb could end their lives. <laughs> Those Root Riders are going to die a little early. Free spill upon the Scattershot Expo. Rage on the top side. Do we still have a lot of Root Riders up there? Three or four. Champion's healthy with a Spirit Fox. Healers on one HP and a Dream. It has a chance, but I don't know, man. These Root Riders are very low on health. He lost all the healers. This might not work. Depends on what the champion can do here with the Invis spell and the Spirit Fox. Getting through the scatter shot. RC's chasing the enemy RC now. Queen pops ability, trying to help out. Pop the RC ability. That came in clutch. He's got it, bro. He's got it. This game's just too easy for these guys. Leo from Repotted Gaming getting it done. Another triple and kind of a fast triple. Almost an entire minute to spare. About 50 seconds. Wow. 12 to 12 after the fourth round of attacks. And we actually got to look at time now. Average attack duration. VM Legacy are in the lead. 156 to 209. But they still have to actually triple the last attack. Luxy is in the final attack for VM. And he's going in with Queen Charge. Root Riders to end the match for VM Legacy. If he triples with a decent time, it's pretty much game over. Because they have the better time already. King ability popping off. Take care of the scatter shot. Nice. Wall breaker busts open the open wall even more so Queen can go walk over to the town hall. But he's getting an awkward healer swap. Awkward. Wait, no. They go back to the Queen. What the... Dude, that Golem King skin with the gauntlet ability looked like way too big. That was funny. I'm surprised his healers went back to the Queen right away. That's good news for him, though. Spamming all the Cocoa Balloons, trying to find some traps. Still manages to lose a healer. Make that two healers. <laughs> good old Fluxy. Even with five Cocoa Balloons there, he still manages to lose two healers. Gets rid of the Skelly Trap. Rage Spell is in. He'll take out the Town Hall. Here comes CC Troops. Poison Spell. Minion to help out. Sure, sure. Go ahead and start the Root Riders. You don't want a time fail. Here we go. Battle Drill with them. Queen fighting Ice Golems. Monolith locked on. Ego Artillery locked on. Root Riders. Cleanup Wizards already deployed. Queen, do we just pop her ability? He went with the Free Spell first. He's still going to have to pop ability. Got the Healing Tome. Yes. Goes with the Invis and a Rage. Trying to hold the Queen ability. Okay. Deciding to use a lot of spells on the Queen. Prentice Warden in the mix there. Rage the Root Riders into the core. Champion dipped out to the outside, which means nobody's going to go for the Queen right now. That's awkward. She's going to pop off. She's going to take out all these Root Riders in the core. That's actually huge. That's huge for the defense. He just lost two or three Root Riders there. Queen's very healthy on the bottom side. There's a Skeleton Spell to help distract. Queen to fight Queen. Ooh, might need her ability though. Or not. Or not. Royal Champion with the Spirit Fox going invisible. Cleanup Wizard's looking good. Is the Battle Drill still alive? It is. It is. He's got it, bro. He's got it. He's got it. Last free spell. Being deployed. Still has a Queen ability. Still has a Champion ability. Pops that Champion ability over there. Yeti's out of the Battle Drill. Royal Champion able to get the Inferno Tower. Diggy from the Grand Warden able to stun the Scatter Shot. That is a three star all day long. And how much time is going to be left over? It does make a difference. Repotted Gaming were 52 seconds total behind this one has 30 28 seconds to spare what's the math what's the math 28 plus 52 80 seconds 
for potted gaming have to triple with more than 80 seconds left over. <laughs> General X is in. He has to triple with more than 80 seconds left over. That's a minute 20. So he's going with spam. This probably wasn't even his original plan. Bro, you just gotta drop everything. What are you waiting for? You're wasting seconds. There he goes, dropping everything. Skeleton spells in the mix. Decides to bring a battle blimp. Not a log launcher on this one. I'm really surprised. I think the log launcher would have been nice here. Battle blimp's gonna be sketchy with the invis tower there. Tornado trap catches it as well. Ugh, pops a warden ability. Has a healing tome. Everything else pretty classic. Come on, you gotta go fast, bro. You gotta go so fast. It's insane. Just rage, clone, yeti bomb in the core of the base? What the? <laughs> Balloons on the corners. Baby dragons for cleanup. Popping the king ability now. Giant gauntlet actually takes out the single over the wall. Queen will get the other single, but she might have to pop her ability here. Uh... Uh, I'm, what? I don't like the way he did this. Sends the road champion from the top side. Dude, this is gonna one star. Queen pops ability, takes out a bomb tower, takes out the expo on the right side. We got three freezes. We got the spirit fox. He's running out of time. You've literally only got like five seconds to triple for the win. He's not going to get that. Can he still get it though? Can he still get the normal three star? Oh. Oh. Awkward. The invis tower is kind of keeping the RC alive though. He's got one more freeze. Oh. That was a real YOLO attempt. And he ends up falling short. Oof. Nice try. The one star. 94% and VM Legacy walk away with the W. 15 stars to 13. 100%. To 98.8.